Hello Essenes, welcome back to my channel everyone and thank you for being here with me today. This is a timeless reading for your lovely air signs and we're going to be looking at who is the person who is coming towards you. So if you're single and searching, you want to see who's coming up around the corner, what this person's going to look like, what they, what they do, uh, anything you can learn about them, we're going to be sussing this out here for you today. So, um, before I jump into this, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I would be forever grateful. Let's have a look. I'm excited. Who's, who's coming up for us air signs? Who's this person that you're going to be meeting? Okay, someone very mature straight off the bat is com coming up here. Okay, the universe is sending you this person, sending you this connection. Very powerful. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I feel like there's two different people that are coming up. One is your past and one is your future. So you'll have to decide. Um, okay, not surprised. Two pages, two kings. Okay, there's definitely two, two different people coming up here. Um, air signs. I do feel like you have an ex that's coming back into the picture. But I also feel like there is a new person and a new connection. Um... Look, I feel like I'm going to focus on the new connection first and then, then we'll suss out the X. Let's, let's put priority to the new person, shall we? Okay, I definitely feel like you have someone very outgoing who's coming up around you here. This is a very exciting individual. I get that they're coming from somewhere else though, so it makes me feel like they've got, uh, they, they've traveled out to get to you or they, they've had to take some sort of physical steps. Um, I get that this person is a traveler or they can afford a life of travel, but somehow they might be connected to like working for a company that's international. Um, they might be allowed to move around different cities, different countries. Like there's something about them here that makes me feel like they're a bit of a free spirit. Um, and I feel like the universe will bring the two of you together. A centrally a very spiritual energy next to this person. So you've got someone who is quite spiritual. Um, it could also be that spirituality and travel are connected for this person. So whilst for some, it could be that this person works for a certain company, they may have like a creative pursuit that they do that allows them to travel. They may write books, they may write blogs, uh, they may um, set up yoga retreats or partake in this sort of pilgrimages. There's a very spiritual side to them. Um, and I really feel like you're going to connect with them in that regard because you're going to see this sort of spirituality. And what I love about that is the fact that you'll be able to be very open, um, air signs, because you have such varied interests um, as a whole, I feel like you will bond with this person. That will be one of the huge common factors um, that will bond you to them. So it makes me feel like, yeah, they're, they're a bit of an open book and they have a lot of interest in their life, interests, and, you know, they do a lot of things and that's going to keep you excited because you need to be stimulated. And this is what this person can offer you. Um, and I feel like they're very smart. You're going to love the way they speak to you. So the words that they use, the nicknames they come up with, the jokes that they tell, their voice even could be very distinct. Like it'll make you really, really hot for them potentially. Um, okay, I get that this person may have a dual energy to them. So they might be under a sign that's dual in nature, for example, Pisces, Cancer. We've got Gemini energy here. So they may be a mutable sign is what I'm getting. There is a dual part of them. So it makes me feel like whilst 
there's a part of them that's very open and liberal and really out there, there might be another part of them that's a bit more hidden and a bit more sensitive. Um, and I feel like they don't really let people, they don't really show people that side of themselves. They like to sort of hide it. They like to sort of keep it within. I, I see them opening up to you, which is really nice. And that's going to show just how keen they are on you. Um, and how much they want you to be a part of their life. Um, okay, we've got a lot of moon energy here. So a lot of feminine, feminine qualities to this person. They're very kind, they're very nurturing, very caring, very sweet, sweet and thoughtful. And you know, if they do have heavy water placement, that, that's what it is here uh, that I'm seeing. So, you know, that's very beautiful um, to see that come up. But yeah, seven of cups, six of cups, which I think is that X energy coming forward. Okay, there, there could be an X that will come up around the same time. Um, or it could be, I'm wondering if there's this person's X will still be in the picture somehow. Um, or like it's a recent breakup type thing. You might even know their ex is what I'm getting. Okay, you might be mutual friends, friends of friends. You went to school with them. There's somehow there's a familiarity uh, is what I'm getting. Um, okay, they do have that very calm side, but then they also have that very, um, very spiritual, adventurous side here as well. Um, I get that they may like to do more like medium or low intensity things rather than high intensity. Um, I feel like they like to be more centered. I do get a lot of spirituality um, from this person. Um, they might be accredited in something like a specialized skill. So they may have some sort of um, document or certification of some kind. Could be like a degree, a master's, a diploma. Uh, a course program, a training ship, there's something very specific that this person has. It's a specific skill that this person has. They're able to see things from all sides, which I like. Okay, they're a good mediator, so they're a good problem solver. You'll, you'll really love that about them, I feel. They're not always in control of their emotions, though. I get that mutable, moody energy. It's tough, you know, when you're dealing with someone like that. Um, it's not easy, and water signs can be quite moody if they are a water sign. To be honest, King of Cups is here, so we've got Pisces. Um, the perspective of the Twins and the Six of uh, Cups, I'm getting Gemini vibes. So there's a lot of Sixes here. Six ruled by Gemini. Gemini can be the King of Swords as well. So um, Moon, Cancer. Okay, we've got a lot of that happening here as well. But this this person is, I think, more dominated by water energy more than anything else. Okay. They like to pray or they pray, they pray or they chant something. This isn't someone you usually go for, air signs. I have to say, they are a mixed bag and you're going to find that quite intriguing. But like I said, I don't think it's someone you normally go for. They're super like spiritual, they're super zen and... Yeah, I just, give it a chance though. Don't be quick to judge. Give them a chance and see how things go. Um, but you're going to connect very well with your communication towards each other. They could have, I'm seeing more darker and reddish here, so it could be like a dark brown, a dark red, maybe even a strawberry blonde, maybe even like a ginger beard or something. Um... It's cute. Um, if you're after a female energy, I feel like this female may be tall. We've got a very tall, slender energy, the swords, the tall figures here. So tall, thin, and maybe more lean. Um, if you're after a male energy, they could be more stocky. Similar height to you, possibly a little bit taller. I'm getting longer hair, actually. So it's either, uh, if you're after a gent, then it's like, I feel like it's the, 
um, I feel like it's uh, like a, 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 hair, a, a style that can uh, a hairstyle that can be sort of put into place. So if you're after a male energy, that's that's what's coming up. Um, but the female is coming up with like long transcending locks, so very feminine. Um, again, I'm getting a strong femininity to this person. Um, a lot of blues and greys, so they might have blue, grey, green eyes is what I'm getting. They're quite fit, though. They're in shape. Um, and I'm getting posture. They have a good posture. So you're going to notice that about them, the way, you know, broad shoulders. Uh, yeah, very good posture. They, they keep in shape. It's something that they do that helps them maintain their physique. Uh, is what I'm getting. Okay, because this is coming up with two different people, I'm getting the pages of someone younger, the king of swords is someone who is around your age or possibly a little bit older. So it's hard to decipher who's the ex and who's the new person coming in, but there's one is either your age and the other is younger. So if you've got a younger ex, that person's come up as well. If you have a new um if you meet this new person, that's the person. Um, I feel like spirituality is going to be connecting you somehow. So it could be like on the phone, a yoga class. Um, you go down to the beach and this person's meditating next to you. Like it's a spiritual hobby or spiritual things that are going to lead you to them. And you'll instantly click. You'll have a lot in common. And somehow your childhood or your past is very similar. You might have had very similar past relationships, very similar upbringing. Or you might have the same amount of siblings or you grew up in the same town. Like there's something about your past that's very similar to this person's. Very interesting. Um, you could travel a lot with them, I'm seeing. They might even be coming from abroad. I wouldn't be surprised, two of ones, six of swords, that movement. Um, it could be that they're from a different city, state, or country. And I feel like meeting them is going to open up travel opportunities for you. They might even invite you uh, to take you somewhere. But I, I see you falling in love. King of Cups is here. Um, he's not here for nothing. So love is here. Love is coming up for you, whether you choose to go the past or the present. So... All right, let's visit this ex of yours that's popping up, shall we? Okay, so the ex is either younger or your age. Um, I'm getting a strong water energy around the, this ex, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it could be an air sign as well, fellow Gemini, Libra, or Aqua. Um, and I feel like this person is in two minds about you, but I get that there's mixed energies. Like, they might pop up one day, they'll be really interested. The next day, you won't hear from them. It's a very this kind of energy. They're a little bit lost in their emotions, um, to be honest. Some days, they really miss you, and then other days, it's like, you know what? Yeah, I'm fine without them. I made the right choice. They're not clear on their feelings towards you. But the feeling, there is feelings there, uh, is what I'm getting. Okay, so you could potentially revisit this. I feel like the universal forces will actually bring this person back to you. So you may have a very big decision that you need to make here, um, air signs. Whether you choose between the new person or the ex, I mean, probably very likely that they'll come up at the same time. They'll come into your life at the same time. Um, I feel like you've been waiting for this person, but... I feel like it's been at least a month since since you've heard from them. So it could be an ex that you haven't really um, you haven't really been in contact with, and that's the person who's trying to get back in touch uh, and reconnect with you. Okay, but I'm getting. Um, they're going to pop up. Um, the decision is going to be up to you, but I feel like you'll still see a lot of this back and forth. And I feel like there's a part of them that's still immature that hasn't necessarily grown. We do have two pages, so I feel like Six of Cups is the past, the past repeating itself. Six of Cups is also this, this childlike energy. So I'm getting a, an emotional immaturity. I also feel like they, they won't handle things quite well. Like you might tell them, you know, you've got other stuff going on with your life or whatever. They might not handle it very well. Um, mm. Yeah, they might not 
might not be able to handle your news I'm getting. So you might be telling them something here and yeah, they might not handle it too well. Um, they too might have some big news here for you and it may concern a different city, state or country. They too might travel out to see you or you will have travel opportunities to see them. There's definitely travel and love connected to you here. Um, or travel will bring love. So maybe some of you are going back to a city, state or country where you had an ex before. This person will find out um, that you're there. I definitely get that this ex is still checking up on you. So if you've got like your page on public, um, your status updates on WhatsApp, they have some sort of access to you where they still check in, okay? They, they won't admit it, uh, but they do still check in to see what's good, what you've been doing, where you're at. Um, okay, they're still not over what happened. Strong moon energy here is telling me they're still holding on to some sort of feelings here in regards to you. Um, and they'll tell you that they're not going to be shy about how nostalgic they are. So they might even tell you, like, I look over old photos, or I still kept this item, or I still do this. Or, you know, there's, there's a part of them that still is, or still does care a lot, is what I'm getting. Okay, if you do revisit this relationship, if you choose to revisit it, um, I feel like there's this, you have to to treat it like potentially a brand new relationship because I feel like past issues may pop up again and you'll have to sort of handle them differently. If you choose against this, I feel like that other person will be waiting for you. Um, but I also feel like this person may circle back and come back to you later on again. So there could potentially be a breadcrumber here who's sort of checking in every now and again to be like, hey, you know, remember me? I'm still here. I'm still in the background. Um, it could be part of their plan because I feel like this person is quite smart. Okay, they are emotional, yes, but they're quite um, quite smart. They know what they're doing, um, air signs. Uh, you know, maybe they know you still have feelings, you, you still reply. It's sort of any little sign for them. Um, yeah, it's these things that... It's these things that really... Um, that really matter most to this person. But there is love, so there is something to rebuild. If you're wanting to do that, there will be an opportunity to rebuild that together. So it's really going to be up to you. It's really going to be what you decide. But I think for a lot of you, you've been a little bit in limbo. You've sort of been like, okay, well, I'm not here. I'm not over that person yet. I don't want to date. Like it's been probably a bit in between. Uh, so, you know, that could be changing. And... Maybe you needed this time to be alone or not to commit to anything or even if you're ending a relationship. So I feel like that's what Spirit wants you to know about your love situation and who's um, who's sort of coming in. So um, I am going to leave it there. So I do hope this reading has been helpful. If it has, please leave behind a like. You can also subscribe to my channel, that would be amazing. And if you are after a private reading with me, please email me and I can send you over all the booking details. Um, they are subject to availability, so it really just depends how busy I am when I hear from you. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited and I feel like you've got a lot to look forward to. Your world, your universe is, is almost changing. Um, and, you know, you've got this large pyramid. It's it's a try message which, tell, which tells me you're about to be on a relationship journey or you are on a relationship journey. Three is the number of that um, beginning, middles and endings, birth, life, death. Like, it's the big things that happen to us in love. And I feel like it's, it's sitting there smack bang in the middle. So you are, like, ascending. You're moving up in your love life. You're moving forward. Things are coming to the pointy end. Um, so I feel like you are coming up to this very profound stage uh, in your love life. So yay. Um, God knows we need it. But look, I am going to leave it there. So thank you again, everyone. Lots of love and bye for now.